Ladies and gentlemen, I am Jim of the Fuzzy, and welcome back to The Last Federation. Now, we're over here at this galaxy in homeworld, and this little 0 0.8 number is not going anywhere. We need to help. That's their, um, planet compatibility. It's terrible right now. And the Evox are even worse. They're at 0 0.1. I don't know what has happened to their planet. What they've done to it. But all these stats are abominable. I'm worried they're going to try and blow it up. But, uh... <clears throat> well, to be fair, looking at the uh, compatibilities... Everybody is that bad with this planet. 0 0.1 for everybody. But over here, we can, um... Let's see. We could go help them build a space outpost if... Oh, we can. Manufacturing outpost will, um... I don't remember what those do. This uses up, I don't know how much. All right. Cooperative research, no, I'm not gonna make... I want to give them Lab-grown meat. So the burlos hate me even more. Fine, fine. Now we're going to do property development and... Meat vats. And that's going to take four months. Yay. And we're just going to fast forward. Again, that lovely little war going on there. Just the Andors trying to keep the Thoraxians from building up any space power whatsoever. Okay. Now what did we do? Well, we helped with the death rate. It's gone from negative one million a month to negative half a million per month. Which... Okay, it could be better, but... At the same time, it could be a whole lot worse. So... Uh... Well, that explains why this planet is so terrible. Because the environmental situation is got abominable. And that's what the game literally calls it, abominable. And until that's fixed, they've got a negative 3.5 compatibility. I'd love to know what wrecked that. Um, no idea. Can I help them with, um... Huh. Can I help them build another... Le nope, no more live grow meat. Okay. Um, teaching hospital. None of these really help all that much. And bomb shelters just take forever. Longer than iron cannons do. Um, I have everything they have, I think. Yeah, I'm not gonna... 
And I could go work with them to get the uh, Soleta array. That might not be a bad thing. Let's see if I can talk them into improving the environment. Yeah, prioritize the environment. Their positive economic trend will end. No, I'm not... The environment is slowly going up. Thanks to, um... Building the universities and other stuff. The Exozoological Park. Not bad. Wireless communications infrastructure, also not terrible. That would not be bad. But that, imp again, improves the, uh... Yeah. Anyway. Let's see. We want cooperative research. But I am not going to wait around 19 months. So I'm going to go hire... 10 goons. Alright, there are the scientists. We have science goons now. So now... Ooh. Now we can go research the Soleta array. And yep, the Endors are attacking the Thraxians. If you wait on one contract for over a year or spend or start a new contract, then that'll pop up again. Evox are again attacking the Thraxians, hooray. It's just... Uh, Burlas have low drag casings. Everybody's getting orbital bombardment tech. Hooray! Yeah, the, the Thoraxians are completely out of the game at this point. I shouldn't say they're out of the game. They can always come back. Alright. We gain money... We got some influence, and they got the Soleta right now. Now... We go to Skylaxian Senate, and... Tell them they should prioritize the envir environment. And we'll spend a 135 credit on that. And now... Property development. Oh, where is it? Not sure how to actually build it now. Oh, we could get digital sentience. That would actually be pretty good. Oh, mind reading. Um, Vibro Blades would not be bad. Given that the Burlus are at this point pretty much unstoppable. Space Junk. Well, that's, uh, interesting. Where do I go to build the Soleta Array for them? Or with them? Uh, 
I could gift them technology, but that won't help. Cooperative research. Industrial automation, no, not really helpful. Well. The space elevator. Not terrible. Psionic research. They don't have psionics and they don't have mind reading. Alright then. What does it take to get psionics? It's something the Skylaxians can learn. There we go, psionics. 3009, so it's available. Should be, right? Yeah, it should be. Ground millet psionics, there we go. This race is missing the following progress, it's mind reading. Okay, so we need to go do mind reading. Which is going to take quite a while. This is going to be costly. That's psionics? That would take th three years to get. Getting these three techs would take us... Four years? No, two years. Yeah. No, that would take us... Six years. At this rate. No. That is going to be too long to take. Um. You could help them build a science outpost. That would be a huge boost to our influence, but... We don't need a huge influence boost. You know what? I'm gonna leave the pirates up and running for now. Well, no. I shouldn't. What I need to do is go blow a few of them up. Hydral tech. Alrighty. I don't want to have to face a pirate empire. Of course, I think there is an achievement for winning the game with one of those in existence, so... Okay. It was looking at this. Let's get the synthetic fossil fuels. And I really I really wish there was a way I could build that Saleta array for them, but There isn't, apparently. That's really irritating. Of course, I'm probably not even... I'm probably just not seeing it. Synthetic fossil fuels. Four months. Yep, the Andors are attacking the Thoraxians. Hooray. Evox are still there, so... The Andors had, uh, quantum computers. I should go see if I can learn that from them. 706 credit. Uh... Learn from Rice. Quantum computers, four months. Let's get it. 
And yep, the Andors are still attacking the Thoraxians. The Borains are now spacefaring. They are solitary and dangerous. They may be a difficult ally. Yep, Borains are now spacefaring. Awesome. And they have Terbium. Which is awesome. Which means I can get them to uh, be friends with probably everybody. Via trade routes. If they aren't already. So some trade routes. No, they're not trading with anybody. So, uh, let's go over and visit the Borings. Hello, Boring Regent. Interplanetary Relations. Um, no. Well then. That really won't... Ugh. Yeah, no way to start a trade route. Can they really not start trade routes? Each planet belonging to the Borings has a region and runs it. The region uses her best judgment to determine where priorities should lie. The current situation of our planet and race are a sole concern when it comes to brokering political deals. Range priorities are based entirely around the environmental, medical, economic, and public order ratings for their planet. If you can prove those ratings, then you may put them in a position where they feel the best protection for themselves is solar unity. In such circumstance, they may become extremely useful. Ah. Uh, specimen 3007 is defense. And their rage momentum, that's right. They're solitary and they're isolationist, but if you declare war on them... The longer the war goes on, the more powerful they get. So, I can't... Ooh. Interesting. Uh, Peltian and Andor... Ow. Yeah. Why do the boring the boring's don't like anybody at the moment? Uh. At least the um. Skylaxians and Thoraxians aren't as mad at each other. That's good. Let's go see the Andor, and can I start a... No, I cannot broker a trade route. Turn it! Peltians? Trade deals. No. Evox. Get on the elders. This infrastructure, no. Best in medicine. Private. Really? Broker trade route. Oh, the Borings are anti-trade. As are the Burlusts. Alright then. So the only way I'm going to get the Borings to want to be trade uh, trading is... If I can get their economy in good shape. Um...
and I can't do an, an, an I can't get them to work on this because they're doing privateering. So the plan's gonna keep going down in quality. Alright, let's see. Foreign Regent. Local deals. Industrialize. There we go. Done 433 credit and yet a positive economic trend starting. Good. Military deal. I can just. Wow. I can send them off to uh, just go blow up a pirate base. Um, okay. That's, um, worth thinking about. And money. Anyway, I have been Jimbo the Fuzzy. Thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you again next time.